there's going to be some serious competition to see who goes number one in this draft. Uh, I don't believe there's any pressure for me to, you know, be a top pick, but um, I'm definitely going out. I believe I'm the best player in the draft. I've been dreaming about the NBA ever since I was seven years old um, when I wrote on a piece of paper that I wanted to play in the NBA. This process with the draft being around the corner, how big would it be to hear your name number one? Huge. Um, no matter where I go, you know, I know it's a blessing to be the number one pick, so regardless of where it is, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be in the position I'm in. Did watching older guys say your size and they made them go in the post, was that something you shied away from when you said, you know what, I can play in the post, I can play on the perimeter, I can do both? Definitely. Um, one of the guys I used to watch was Allen Iverson a lot. Oh, yep, so, oh so Allen Iverson, you saw you saw yeah. yourself coming down across yeah, the people Yeah, I used to have the braids, all that. The braids and everything. Headband. Oh, I got to find those pictures. I know. I got to find it's those crazy, pictures. It's crazy, but uh, yeah, him, um, LeBron, of course. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I just wanted to be a type of player who could do you know, everything on the court. Ben Simmons gets compared a lot to LeBron James. What is it about his game that you either try to emulate or want to try to perfect? Yeah, he's one of the best players in, in the world um, that's played the game. So, uh, you know, I was trying to take a little part of his game and put it into mine. Developing my game, I come in every day, uh, trying to get better at all aspects, aspects of the game, which is, you know, dribbling, passing, shooting. Uh, I think I like to experiment a lot when I'm playing, and uh, I think that's good. Now, I, now I'm glad you said that because there's certain games I see you grab the ball off the, the rim, you're going coast to coast, showing your ball handling athletic ability. Sometimes you're coming down, you're showing you can be like Brian, you can be a facilitator. Is that a mindset you take game for game, or like you said, you experiment with? Um, I take what they give me. So, you know, if I gr grab the rebound, I see a 6'10 guy on me, I know I can beat him. There you go. Majority of the time. So I go, uh, I use my speed, but, you know, if I see somebody op uh, open, I definitely, you know, feed them the ball. Ben Simmons, a six foot ten freshman phenom from Melbourne, Australia. Big picture, you have Della Vadova, you have Bogus, or you have Dante Exum. How big is it to get more of you guys from Australia to show that you guys have game over there too? It's getting a lot bigger. You know, when I was younger, it wasn't there wasn't too many players. You know, Luke Longley, That's right. um, big Luke. Yeah. I think one of the first guys that was recent was probably Andrew, yep. and then Patty, and then mm -hmm. of course Dante Daly. Um, Joe Ingles, there's a lot of players now in the NBA that are Australian, so for me to be a part of that new age, um, it's, it's awesome and amazing. The number one pick in the 2016 NBA draft goes to the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm talking about a guy that averaged basically five assists a game in college. There are a lot of great point guards that don't average five assists in college. I still think Simmons is the guy for Philly at one. What does Philadelphia need to know about you more to make sure your name's called number one? I'm a, I'm a winning player, you know, I, that's my mentality every time I step on the floor. Um, you know, I try to make my teammates better, and it's, it's usually what I do as soon as I step on the floor uh, and just try to make the right plays.